Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Soaky Night. Tonight, we're going to talk about uh, sleep. It's an essential for health, so we're going to share some information and tips and how to utilize the Soaky products to get quality sleep. Remember, um, tonight's presentation is for educational purposes only. I'm not trying to diagnose, treat, or cure any disease. Um, and the information hasn't been evaluated by the FDA. <clears throat> I do want to wish everybody a happy new year and I hope you had a great holiday season and um, I'm wishing each and every one of you a happy and healthy new year. So here's some facts about sleep. About 30% of all adults suffer from some form of insomnia. 10% of the population has chronic sleep problems. 50% of seniors actually have a lot of sleeping problems. And many people also experience some form of sleep deprivation getting less sleep than they need for optimal health. So 50 to 7 million Americans are affected by chronic sleep or sleep disorder. It's a really big problem. And our body really needs sleep. If we don't sleep or we don't get the required amount of sleep, we can get really, really sick. And our body may even adjust how it's actually running if you um, do that for 11 to 14 days. You're not going to achieve good health if you can't rest your body. Because when we sleep, our body, especially between 2, 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., our body repairs and renews itself. And sleep is essential for our body to function. So sleep deprivation occurs in um, approximately 11 days. I think I broke my little remote turner, so I'm going to have to come up here and do that. So how do you know if you're getting good quality sleep? Signs of poor sleep quality may include that you feel sleepy or tired even after you get enough sleep or you're repeatedly waking up during the night and having symptoms of sleep disorders such as snoring, your snoring will wake you up, or you feel short of breath and you're gasping for air. Lack of sleep also increases several health risks, like an increased risk of diabetes and heart disease, and also depression. It increases the risk of obesity by decreasing leptin levels, reduces your immune reactions by increasing cortisol, because not sleeping puts a lot of stress on the body. It can affect your concentration and judgment. Um, it can make you more stressed and irritable, which can put strain on your relationships with family, friends, and coworkers. Children also need a lot of sleep to perform better in school. And uh, we need more sleep to perform better at work. Depression and lack of sleep seem to be kind of interrelated. Um, the interrelatedness of sleep and depression suggests it's important that the sleep sufficiency of persons um, be assessed to see um, what's really going on. So according to the CDC, some of the top sleep concerns are insomnia, narcolepsy, restless leg syndrome, and sleep apnea. And insomnia is the inability to initiate or maintain sleep. Or you may notice that you wake up super early in the morning and you can't fall back asleep. Those are those people waking up at 2, 3 in the morning and they can't go back to sleep. And this can create sleepiness during the day, which affects your functioning. Narcolepsy is very excessive daytime sleepiness um, with muscle weakness, restless leg syndromes, that unpleasant, creepy, crawly sensation you get in your lower legs, often associated with aches and pains. And sleep apnea is when your throat actually closes off while sleeping, depriving you of oxygen. And usually the person wakes up because they um, aren't able to catch their breath. So there's several things that could keep you awake at night. Um, let's say you're in an area that's too noisy, someone's snoring or your own snoring wakes you up. There's too much light in the room, it's not dark enough. You're too cold or you're too hot. Um, a lot of times people with pain or they don't feel well, they ache, it's hard for them to fall asleep. Many people get up throughout the night to go to the bathroom and Many people are under stress and they can't turn their mind off. And many people have restless dreams and nightmares. So there's actually sleep cycles that the body goes through and each sleep cycles 90 to 100 minutes. 
And you want to make sure in your stages of sleep that, you know, you're awake, you go to alpha waves, slower waves, first stage of deep sleep, deeper delta waves, and then REM or G dream sleep. And that's one that you always see the rapid eye movement. So that deep REM sleep is probably the most important part of your sleep. And even though it only takes about 10 to 20% of your nighttime sleeping, um, it's when the body's focused on rebuilding and repairing itself. Your pituitary gland releases hormones. And about 30 minutes of a 90-minute sleep cycle will be spent in deep sleep. So throughout the night, you have these 90-minute cycles, and a third of those cycles usually make up deep sleep. And you enter deep sleep naturally during the darkest part of the night, and you have a harder time entering it if you sleep during the day. REM sleep's an important stage of sleep. Um, your eyes are moving in different directions. Your heart rate, blood pressure, and breathing all increase. Your brain's much more active, and you're actually closer to consciousness in that REM state. Dream sleep appears to be a time when the brain processes thoughts and memories and tries to sort them out and make sense of them. And you have five to six cycles of this throughout the night, and being deprived of this sleep is adversely going to affect your mood and health. So how much sleep do we need? Well, the average adult needs a minimum of seven hours of sleep each night. 35% um, of adults actually sleep less than that, according to the CDC. Most people do best with eight to nine hours of sleep. Younger people need more sleep. You know, remember when you were young and you'd sleep till noon? Teenagers actually need at least eight to 10 hours. And preteens are going on nine to 11 hours. And that's probably when you remember in high school, you slept till like, you know, 11 or noon. So one of the best ways to develop better sleep is to come up with a routine. So you want to go to bed at the same time each and every night and get up at the same time each and every morning. Because this is going to create a natural rhythm for your body. As Benjamin Franklin said, early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. So if you go to bed between 9 and 11, it allows you to enter the deep sleep cycles during the darkest time of the night, which optimizes the benefits you get from sleep. So try to make sure that you create a routine, your bedroom's quiet, dark, relaxing, and at a comfortable temperature for you. Because um, if the room's too bright, too noisy, too hot, too cold, you're going to have trouble sleeping. I always tell people to turn their electronics off at least a half hour before bedtime so your mind's not rethinking everything you watched or you just read. Practice deep breathing, that'll also help. You know, make sure that you eat a diet full of plants, fruits, veggies, leafy greens, lean meats, healthy fats, whole grains. Um, try not to overeat at dinner and try to avoid spicy food and caffeine at dinner um, and it's really best to avoid caffeine after 3 p.m. and limit your alcohol because that can also overstimulate the body. Also make sure you um, give yourself approximately three hours after you eat dinner before you go to sleep. Make sure you stay hydrated throughout the day, six to eight glasses of water. Keep active and keep your mind calm. Avoid disturbing and stressful situations before bed. There are some herbs that can help you sleep, like L-theanine. It's not actually a sleep aid. However, it really helps a lot of people with anxiety and stress. Lemon balm is also something that helps with anxiety and stress. Skull, skull cap is an herb that's actually used as a sedative and a sleeping pill. Chamomile is a form of... Um, used as a mild sedative to calm nerves and reduce anxiety. Um, many people use it with insomnia or sleep problems. And passion flower is also kind of a traditional herbal sedative. And many people use valerian root. Flower essences, Sam fixed this, so yay. Flower essences for better sleep. Um, rescue remedy, there's um, Rescue Remedy for Trauma, and then Bach has a flower essence called um, Rescue Sleep, 
and that contains um, flower essences that help promote better sleep and um, you can take those. The Soki products um, has this month, one of the special office offers is some packages and one of the packages is a Soki quality sleep package. And that includes the e-power machine, which promotes balance of the nervous system. The Grande Fur Pad, which everybody loves, it's gentle warm. The Energy Wand to help target the energy of the e-power to help you sleep. And then um, with this package, you get a good sleep essential oil blend to promote relaxation. It's kind of a four step process for people who have a really hard time going to sleep. Because you know, traditional Chinese medicine is all about balance. And when the body isn't in balance, you're not gonna get a good night's sleep and dis-ease can set in. So we wanna have a balance between yin and yang. Lack of sleep usually is associated with a poor energy flow with an increased risk of disease, heart disease, lack of immunity, fertility, and weight gain. So the good sleep blend um, correlates to the triple warmer meridian and pineal gland, which is a gland that produces the melatonin and is involved in your circadian rhythm of the sleep cycle. It may help with insomnia, um, nervousness. Um, the scent's deeply relaxing with hints of vanilla, woodsy, and orange. Its key ingredients are orange essential oil, benzoin, patchouli, fennel, helichrysum, black seuss, geranium, thyme. So um, sweet orange is a great oil because it's very both uplifting and calming. And it um, brightens your day and calms you down kind of at the same time. The benzoin in the thing helps alleviate stress and promote relaxation. Patchouli actually helps promote the production of hormones that regulate the sleep cycle. Fennel helps soothe digestion, helping you relax so you're ready for bed. Uh, Helichrysum has traditionally been used for sleep and insomnia. And black spruce, geranium thyme also help you relax. <clears throat> so step one would be to diffuse the essential oil or put a couple drops on a tissue in your pillowcase. Then you may want to um, enjoy the warmth of the Grande Fur Pad to relax and rejuvenate your body with its thermotherapy. Because this type of warmth works in unison with your body, warming you from the inside out, reducing tension and stress, especially through the muscles. It also helps reduce physical fatigue. Um, and very beneficial for those having sleep issues. So, you know, while that essential oil is diffusing, just enjoy the warmth of the Grande Fur Pad for about 15 to 30 minutes. And when you're through with that, hop on to the e-power because the e-power was designed to provide negative potential energy and high frequency energy using our body as a capacitor and this is the energy that kind of rebalances the body. So when I think of the e-power, I think of it as a battery charger for the body, but it's also a balancing battery charger for the body. So the e-power um, is gonna help balance the nervous system. So it may help stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest system, helping to balance the sympathetic, which is the fight and flight. And that's going to really allow your body to fully relax, rest, and sleep better. Um, a convalescent hospital in China focused, did some studies with the e-power for insomnia. And they used the e-power between 30 and 90 minutes every day for people with insomnia. The intensity varied based on the person's tolerance level. Some people use the e-power in low, some do medium, some do high. But um, after the 30-day cycle, there was a big symptom relief, and 86% actually saw improvement to basically um, from symptoms improved to no symptoms. It also helps with achy joints, and it's also great for a youthful appearance because it stimulates the fibroblast, fibroblast in your skin. 
You would also, while you're doing the e-power, grab a hold of that energy wand and use the energy wand to unblock the chi energy obstructions in your midi meridians. And for sleep, it would be best to comb the wand along the scalp um, and down the sides of the neck. So you're going to go like one, two, three, and you're going to follow the three lines um, nine times going right, left, center of the scalp and down the side of the neck. So you're going to do right, then you're going to do the left, and then you're going to do the center, and you're going to do that nine times, and that's going to help remove the blockages through the meridian associated to sleep. Remember, adequate sleep strengthens your immune system, reduces your stress, improves your mood, lowers your risk of accidents, helps your body detoxify and replenish, reduces your risk for many of uh, today's chronic lifestyle diseases, helps your body heal, helps you perform better at work, and increases your energy. So we do have for the new year some soaky packages. I just shared with you the sleep package, but we also have the Soaky Heart Health package, which is the Chi Machine, the Ceramic Heater, and the Fur Pad. And with that, you get the Good Mood Essential Oil Blend Free, which focuses on the heart chakra. So the Chi Machine's passive aerobic movement, it promotes the circulation of blood and lymph. It relieves a lot of stagnation in the body. The Soaky Ceramic Heater and Regular Fur Pad is going to warm the body from the inside out, expanding your capillaries, helping with the production of nitric oxide. And the Essential Oil Blend Good Mood for the Heart Chakra has essential oils um, focusing on positive energy flow, relieving emotional and mental stress, and calming you down. It's a very grounding and peaceful blend, and it promotes circulation. I love this blend. It's one of my favorite blends. The next package is the pain management package, which includes the Chi and the ERE and a fur pad. And again, the Chi machine is going to promote circulation and relaxation of tight, aching muscles. The ERE is going to utilize the power of electrical stimulation, um, further helping with pain relief. And the fur pad is going to promote warmth from inside out, going deep into the tissues, helping with cellular repair. This comes with the Good Soul Essential Oil Blend, and this correlates to the Triple Warmer, which is your fight or flight response of the body, which is very activated when you're in pain. And this is going to help calm that Triple Warmer down. And this is going to um, promote uh, stress relieving and calmness, as well as inflammation for aches and sores. So there's special discounted product pricing on the format on these packages and then there's also a new sign up special where we're going to have special discounting product pricing on the four main machines um, for a one-time offer when purchased with a member kit so share these packages and the sign up specials with people um, because these products really do change lives um, so there's no current special beyond what we're doing with these packages and everything because the pricing's super good. Remember to put your distributor ID in the comments to go into the drawing for the fur pad. And remember, our bodies make billions of cells each and every day. And in order to make healthy cells, you have to give your body healthy things. So thanks for watching. Um, and I'll talk to you again soon.